Welcome back to more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle Seasons. I vote us back 33, and um, I'm gonna try to record this. Haven't been having much uh, luck as of late, but so well. I don't care if the sound screws up, as long as it doesn't lag. It's fine with me. Oh, I got plenty of health now. I need to change the spring. So, we will do that. And then we're going to reveal the winner has 238 squares, so here comes your name. Congratulations, whoever this is. See, on the on Fridays, I record three episodes for the weekend, because I really don't plan to be around on the weekend. So, um, like, I'll just edit and then release them. No, because I'm a busy guy, I got stuff to do. And because I usually work on the weekend. So let's go in here. The snow, it blocks this. I think that's another item you have to trade. I'm pretty sure I know which one. But uh, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, screw you. I haven't used my boomerang a lot. Like, the boomerang is fun to use, but the feather just comes awesome. Why am I changing the season? I have to change it. Keep it spring. And get this heart piece. Piece of heart. Sorry. Hmm. Alright, any kind of shoutouts or something I can do? Doing too many shoutouts this late. I shout out like everyone on my subscriber list by now, so. Oh, I think if I change it to winter, I can get in that cave. Presumably. I don't know. Looks like I could. Let's see. Um, if I can get it from over here. Which I can. That was obvious. That's funny, I reduced the frame rate of fraps from 60 to 59, and this is how much of an improvement I'm getting. It's amazing. Um, I think I'm stupid? Come on. This is a pretty involved mini dungeon, or side cave. Can I, anything over here? No? Screw that then. Say, flying cuckoo. Flaps been held, otherwise it's dangerous. Oh, okay. Did I have to do this? I'm pressing it. I guess I did. There it is, the fourth dungeon. You know what that means? Contest is over. Can't vote in this comp in this uh, video. This isn't happening. It looks like it has to be summertime for me to get in there. But there's one more thing we can do before we enter. Let's look at the map. Look, what's in this square? Treasure. You're saying where? In the dungeon? Of course not. It'd be too obvious. Yeah, look at that secret. Odin's back 33 is clever. Come on, go! Got the pyramid jewel. Can't just call it a triangle, no, gotta be fancy. As I recall, a pyramid is a 3D shape. That does not look 3D. I don't care if it's Game Boy Color. There's 3D. There's 3D pyramids on, like, Nintendo games, and we can't make it on this. Alright, we're gonna come back, and the timer's gonna start as soon as I step in that dungeon, so I'll be here back in a second. Well, um, hello again. Hello again. <laughs> it just happened. Um, yeah, I forgot to hit record, so I do this again. Uh, this is the Dancing Dragon dungeon, and the time has started since 
once that text box hit the screen. Doesn't this uh, this dungeon has some awesome music? Man, it does. So we got here bombs. So I know these are for now. So I don't have to waste the time trying to figure out what they are for. Which I guess helps some of you pick some of the quicker times. Like, did you seriously think I'm gonna beat this place in 15 minutes? How short do you think this dungeon is? Like, that was like, I spent like 15 minutes in the first dungeon. This is the fourth. I can't remember, I think someone said 15. But, I can't see myself get, oh, I should put my controller further away from my microphone because it picks up sound really easily. Push these pots here. Man, they like their puzzles with these stupid pots. I probably already mentioned this in the previous, like, four minutes I recorded this, but putting uh, 59 frames per second instead of 60 has greatly reduced lag, so. That's good. I think the sound's screwing up a bit more, but I don't care. It beats using the emulator's recording program, then I got a friggin' edit like crazy. So that's not fun. Die! Oh, screw you. Yep. I think you're doing anything. Oh look, they give you just a, like that's pointless. Stuff like that, I hate. Just give me a switch I can just step on. That's just I know what I'm gonna have to do. A lot of swimming in this dungeon. I guess there's probably gonna be a lot of swimming mechanics in this because of you know, just got the Zora's flippers. Whoa, that's a whiz rope, I think. It's like one of the only bad guys I know of. Not many names I know in this hell the universe. That's one of them. I have no idea where I'm going. Um, boomerang. Eat that. Well, I'm gonna go the way I did last time because. Which is down here. More Mario platforming. So pull up the trusty rock's feather. Like. <laughs> How, how often have I seriously used my shield in this game? My boomerang or rock's feather has been on like the entire time. Look at this. Look at this Mega Man. Mega Man 2 here. I don't know if it's a Mega Man 1. I doubt it. Could be. I never played that one. And I think this is a little error with the uh, emulator. Because I can clearly see the, pl the path, even if it's not lit. But I'm gonna light it anyway, just for, uh... I don't know. Just cause I feel like it. Alright. Let's go on. Got keys. Uh, there was a key door at the beginning of the dungeon. Can I make this? I can. Seeds. I grow impatient. Oh! <laughs> that was nuts. <laughs> oh, my phone's ringing. That's scary. I don't even recognize the phone number. Is that weird? Maybe I should answer it. But I don't know who it is. <laughs> Maybe they'll leave a message. I, I've never seen that phone number in my life. <laughs> like, it's. It looks like it's a local call, too. Wrong number, probably. 
Like, I don't even know my cell phone number. So, how the heck does anyone else know it? Why just get the map? Look at this place. Man, it's long. But that's gonna be it for this. <laughs> Look at the dan dancing dragon dungeon. D D D. Like, you know, like King D D D. Alright, anyway. I gotta get going. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.